Hey, how's it going guys and welcome back to another week of PFC. Now, uh, this match is going to be a, quite a, a, a difficult one. Quite, may, may not, I don't know, I don't know how this is going to go. Uh, I've set up a team, uh, we're adversing David this week and uh, it's going to be a very interesting match to say the least. We and Me and David have battled quite a lot so we know how we like to play one another. Uh, we know how we like to trick each other into doing certain things. So it's going to be a very, very interesting match to say the least. Um, my voice is still going, so I do apologise. Um, I won't be able to, I won't be screaming about and shouting about like I usually do. But hey, uh, hopefully you don't mind. But I'm talking about what I'm going to be bringing this week. Now, I know from this team what he really, really likes and what he's not going to use. So kind of a bit of an advantage this week and um, knowing what he wants to use and what he's not going to want to use so first of all the picks i think he's going to bring is going to be his mega steelix and uh, the mana fear the weavile um the rotom heat uh, and then i want to say gengar and weavile are Either one of the two, either Gengar or Weavile, and then either Thunderous or Mandibles. It's going to be those, the last two are going to be the ones I'm not sure what it's probably going to be. It's probably going to be the Gengar and the Weavile because they are very, very speedy. But if we don't bring Mandibles, he's got no Defogger, which I don't know if he will bother with because if he wants to set them up on me, then he knows how, much, how damaging they are. So. First of all, this week we are going to be bringing our Hercules yet again. Cannot bring our Mega, he's really, really powerful. Um, he's pretty much going to be here for maybe a close combat on the Armor Star if he decides to bring it. I think it's super, it's super effective on um, Mandibles, so we can deal a lot of damage to that. Um, the Weavile is super effective against, um, but really there's we've got other factors which could be helpful to take out the weavile hopefully i'm hoping um next we've got our great wall bronzer he's pretty much there to wall the mega steelix now if you've got firefang on his mega steelix then it will be a problem um i'm running stealth rocks so i can get stealth rocks up because if i've got rocks up i can really really pressure him um into switching out a lot uh, whether he's got Stealth Rocks Raw on that Mega Steelix, I don't know. That could be a an average strategy for him. Uh, next, we're bringing our Pandora. Pandora has done very, very well this season. I've had it since week one. I'm really glad I actually did this trade. It's really, really helped me throughout this entire season. I'm pretty sure Lapras is NU or PU. So, it's really nice to have seen him be used this season. Uh, we are in the Hydro Pump, Ice Beam, Freeze Dry, and Toxic. And we are Specs this week because uh, Hydro Pump uh, Specs actually kills Mega Steelix in one. Um, it kills Tornadus. But we have to be careful because a um, Grass Knock does have a chance to kill if that's what he's running. Um, we've also got the Mana Fear. Uh, freeze Dry will do a decent amount to it. And I know he wants to tail glow and set up with that thing. So if I can get rid of that as quickly as I possibly can, then it'll be really, really nice. Next, we are bringing Pathos, which is my Terrakion. Now, we've not used Terrakion very much this season. Um, I would have liked to have used it a little bit more than I have, but I just haven't. Um, so he's justified. I don't. I, what other abilities does he get? He just... He doesn't. He doesn't. He just gets justified. So he's got justified. Uh, running close combat, stone edge, sword stance, and rock polish. Um, if we get a chance to set up some rock polishes, we'll outspeed the weavile and we'll be able to get a close combat off or a stone edge. Um, stone edge just a lot to say. Thund uh, the tornadoes or the mandibles. Um, a, a stone edge, yeah, it might even do quite a bit of damage to. Rotom, even though Rotom is a special defensive wall. Next, we're bringing Zion, which is our Marwile. 
and this is really here for Suck Punch. Now, if he wants to send out Gengar to the field, um, Mawao can take a lot of the hits. He can't Sludge Wave because it's a Steel type. Um, there's not much he can do to it, and a Suck Punch actually does 65 to 78% uh, damage. So if he's already weakened from Stealth Rocks, uh, we have a chance to potentially kill it. I get it low enough for if he wanted to switch out, then Stealth Rocks would kill him anyway. That's really, really nice information to know. So we've got Sucker Punch, we've got the Play Rough. Um, we've got Iron Head, if we could do a bit of flinching somewhere. Um, it'll do well against the, uh, the Weavile as well. Um, both Play Rough and Iron. Iron Head are really, really nice attacks. I'm not sure how much damage they do, but if we come into that situation, we will set that up. And finally, not but not least, we have got Galvantula. Now, I haven't got a nickname for Galvantula, so I've just left it as Galvantula. But it is our suicide lead. It's sashed. It's got sticky webs, which we really like. Um, I'm going for compound eyes here. So Thunder has a higher chance to hit if we can get it out against Manaphy, um, which will be really, really nice. Uh, I could run um, Swarm, so Bug Buzz does more, but... Looking at his team, I'm probably best doing Thunder. So that is the team at prep for this week. Uh, let's jump into the battle with David. I'll see you guys in just a second. Hey guys, it's Roger Jadir. Welcome back to PFC Week 6. Today, my opponent is XII Rockstar TV. Hello. Of the Manchester Magikarp, I believe. Yep, that is correct. Worst Pokemon in existence. Hey, don't diss the Magikarp. I will diss the Magikarp. Oh dear. <sighs> you ready? Oh, we better get this underway, yeah. I am ready. Alright. Oh you select D and challenge. Okay. <coughs> Let's do this. We're doing the old uh, mute. Yes, we so will. You can, so, so you can go over your rules. Alright, yeah. I'll see you on the other side. Yeah, see you on the other side. If Skype didn't freeze. Lol. <laughs> yeah, my Skype froze. That's great. Come on. You ready yet? Yeah, now it's ready. Okay, great. Let's do this. Okay. So... What are we going to do? So he, he did bring everything that we fought, except he didn't bring... Um, he brought the Drudigum, which is one I wasn't predicting, but Lapras is here, so there's no problem there. Um, he's got a, spe a speedy team as it is. I do want to try and get Rocks up, so I'm going to start off with the Great Wall. He's going to start with Red Skull, okay. So I'm going to start with a... He knows I like to Toxic. So he might predict that going to Gengar. Uh, I'm going to straight up for Brocks. He's going to go for the Fire Punch. He's going to do a lot to the Great Wall. That is perfectly fine. Um, I've got my Rocks up now, which is really, really nice. Um, I'm going to switch out here into Pandora. Um, that, will have to, that will force him into a switch, plus Fire Punch won't kill. And it does about 50%, which is a bit annoying. Um, I um, uh, do I outspeed? Oh, I just outspeed. Um, I'm gonna hit Ice Beam. I've got a feeling easy bait. In fact, let me just calculate. Um, Black press. versus um, Drudigan. Let's see how much does a Hydro Pump does around 40%. So I'm gonna click Hydro Pump. He's going to switch, he's going to go into white out. Ice Beam isn't going to... How much is this going to do? Misses. Um, I do want to see how much this actually does. Um, he's going to want to knock off. Oh, he's got low kick, possibly. Which will kill. So... He's going to go look at... Uh, I'm, Pathos. I'm going to go to Pathos because I've justified. So I'm going to switch going to Pathos. Going to get knocked off. It's going to get the justified boost, which is really, really nice. Gets rid of the life orb, which is fine because of that justified boost. Um, 
I'm not sure what he's going to... I'm going to click Rock Polish. I'm, I'm not quite sure what this is going to have. Ice Shard. Okay. Um, that means I am going to live another hit. So I can just click Close Combat from here. That should finish off the White Out. So there we go. Down goes White Out. I think he was expecting another stat boost, but with plus two attack and also that 1.5. So what's on? I've got Terrakion on the field here uh, with plus two attack. It's plus 1.5 really. 0.5. And we've got plus two speed. Um, didn't have to change. Uh, we've got the Mega Steelix. Um, Close Combat has a 50% chance to Oko. I'm going to take that risk. And it doesn't. We got a re we got a Mimroll. We got a Mimroll, but he doesn't go for the KO. Now, I'm surprised. I am surprised he didn't just heavy slam and go for the KO there. Um, how much does Earthquake do um, from Bronzong? This is actually the worst pick he could have got here. Um, um, Earthquake does 19%. It has a chance to kill. I'm going to click it. Heavy slam doesn't kill me. Earthquake is enough to take out the Mega Steelix, which is really, really nice. We're going to get some leftovers back. And out comes Easy Bake. It's going to take 25%. Um, this thing definitely outspeeds us. I would love to get a Toxic off. If we could. Um, he doesn't think I'm going to switch. That's the thing. I'm going to click Toxic. He's going to burn me. I'm going to get a Toxic off, which is really, really nice. This thing is a bit of a nuisance. Um, unfortunately, the constant burn when our leftovers is completely worthless now. Um, I'm not sure what he's going to do. The Great Wall is completely worthless at this point. He's done his job. I'm going to click Gyro Ball. And he does just take us out, which is a little bit unfortunate. I think if we had a little bit more health. Um, but Easy Bake is going to take another 25% once he swaps out. So that's not too bad. Um, I'm going to bring out Pandora here. There's no point. Not, uh, not doing. Uh, I feel like... Um, feel like the Manifest might come out here, or the Gengar. Um, let me just quickly match it up. I'm, I don't know his set. Um, say the Life Orbed. Uh, Hydro Pump does a lot. Uh, KO's Gengar. It's just the Manifest. Let me just check the Manifest. Uh, Mana Fear. Freeze Dry would be the better option. But if it goes out into Gengar, it's only going to, it's going to do 81%. Okay, I'm going to put Freeze Dry. If it goes for the Sucker Punch, I get the Freeze Dry off. That's going to KO Red Skull. He doesn't want this thing to be around when the Mana Fear comes because I could really destroy Mana Fear's day. Um, I mean, I do have Galvantula. I do have Galvantula. Here is Gem. He's going to set up Tail Glow. I'm just going to click free. Oh, he's going to. He's not. I thought. I would have thought he'd have just tried setting up. But he didn't. Because he knew Freeze Dry would do around 81% max damage to this thing. So, um, if I'm not wrong, Galvantula with a Thunder does around 80%. Oh, down. Let's reread that. It it has a 12.5% chance to KO. Um, so I am just going to click Thunder. There's no reason not to click anything but Thunder here. He's going to go out into Easy Bake, of course. There's the Thunder. It's still going to do a nice amount of damage. And we outspeed. So I, I am pretty sure I can KO here. Um... Rotom Heat is try is not choice. I think it's defensive set. Um, we can. I don't think we can kill. Yeah, he's gonna go for overheat. 
Unfortunately, I can't switch, so I'm just going to click Thunder and pray this kills. It does kill. That was actually max damage. So that was really, really lucky. Normally, that wouldn't. Well, that was. A, that We got a high roll. We was lucky. Out comes Afterlife. Um, any slash attempts that he had on this team was gone as soon as I got rocks up. Um, so we have got Afterlife, which is the Gengar. It's back. Uh, it's probably going to be a life orb. Sludge wave can kill. Now I need to keep this thing around. So I'm going to check it with the mobile. It goes for sludge wave. I am immune. So this is what I mentioned in the team builder. Um, I'm just going to click sucker punch. If he doesn't switch here, or if he goes for an attack, this Gengar has a chance to die here. It does have a chance to die here. Let's have a say. Do go for Sucker Punch. It does a lot of damage. Out comes the Shadow Ball. And it is Life Orb. So I could potentially... I mean, he's not going to stick around. He's not going to stick around just for anything here. Um, he does outspeed. I'm just going to click Sucker Punch. It KOs. That is fine. That Sucker Punch was literally the only reason we had it. Out comes Gem. This is where things could get really, really rough. Um, I'm going to get set. I'm not even going to set. I'm just going to. He's going to set up. There's the Tail Glow. Knowing I have to switch. Um, and I'm just going to click Thunder. It connects and it KOs. We bag ourselves a win. Wow, that was a really awesome match. GG, man. GG. Let's get back into the call. And we can speak to our little friend. Let's see. Hope oh, he's gonna come back. I don't I don't know. Anyways, hopefully you guys did enjoy this match. If you did, make sure you hit that like button down below. That means we do take another win. Not like it matters anyway, but we do take another win in this PFC. Uh, hopefully you did enjoy. And uh, let's see what he has to say. Here he is. Is there a nice match? I have to admit. <laughs> Was there anything you wasn't preparing for? Huh? Was there anything you didn't prepare for? Or... I didn't prepare for anything. Mm -hmm. I had no time to do anything. Anyways, that'll be it for today's episode. Hope you Bye. enjoyed. I'll catch you guys all in my next episode. See you guys then.